It's oh. a barrel of laughs. Gal. Fame has been great. I made toast and I ate a peach. He said, that's, that's great. That's, that's good. Fun. That is that's great. Good. Wow, Brick, that's nice, Brick. That's good. I have a date. What? what? I have a date. I have a date. That's great. I have a date. Yeah. Good for you, Brick. What's a date? Well, a date is when you sneak into a woman's bathroom and listen to him tinkle. No, Brick, a date is when two people, a man and a woman, go out for a social occasion. Go see a movie. Go to a dinner. I know what a date is. It's when you start coughing, and you cough, and you cough, and you cough, and finally something comes out and runs away. That sounds like a scene from a science fiction movie. Did you watch Alien? It sounds to me like you, you threw up some sort of live animal, maybe a vole, possibly. Did you try to eat a, a small rodent, Brick? Brick, do you still have Sammy, your vole? It's a date. That's where Sammy went. Brick, that's rule number two. Yep. Don't eat your pets. Regardless, here's the good thing, Brick. You've got the three best friends you can count on to give you advice about the ladies. Don't you worry, all right? We got you covered. We need to get you a little protection. Ah, there it is. Let the angels blow their trumpets. Brian Fantana's world-famous Jimmy Cabinet. For you, I'm thinking... The Responsible Pirate. Be careful when you're pillaging. It's good to put in your yo-ho, yo-ho. <laughs> oh, you know what might be good for you, Brick? Missile silo. Scientifically engineered to prevent premature blast-off. Also protects us from the red menace. <laughs> I could just give you a box of Coney Island whitefish. This is a good condom for the environmentalist. They're recycled condoms made out of 100% used latex condoms. Every fifth condom is still wet and slimy. And they taste great on a bagel. I like mine on a toasted poppy seed. Here's some kind of Japanese condom. I don't know what it's called. It's got bananas on the front and a little weird shaped cork guy. I don't think that's a condom, Brian. Looks like Japanese candy. I don't know what it is, but I know that after I took it off, my penis smelled like shrimp. What about cockfrock? Cockfrock. Each one's lubricated in holy water. It's going to be protected from head to toe. Maybe Teddy's big stick. It's the only condom I know that has the presidential seal of approval. Another great thing about this condom, percentage goes to the National Parks Association. Unfortunately, that condom led to the useless slaughter of our Native American bison population. Or maybe... The gentle mongoose. It's made out of real mongoose hair, so it smells horrible. In fact, this is a terrible condom. I think we should go with something else. Oh, I know, Brian. What about the hooded guest? That one is ultra ribbed. Takes two hours to get on, so plan ahead. The only problem with this one is that it's toxic and highly flammable. The friction from having sex will cause it to burst into flames immediately. So you might want to rethink this. Oh, what about Lou Dobin's Good Time Wiener Pouch? They're made out of denim, so with each washing, they'll start to form around your penis. I like to take the metal buttons off them before I use them. He's a drifter, drinks wine out of a Boda bag, just likes to watch people have sex. There's a lot of up-close and personal quality control in the back of that rusted-out U-Haul. He's a saint, except for the fact that he's in jail doesn't believe in God. A denim Dobin's condom are really popular overseas in Japan. The school kids love them. You can trade them for albums and stuff. Wait a minute. I've got it. The Rigid Ghost. That's the best damn rubber on the market. Puts the pole in poltergeist. Picture a ghostly apparition, except that it's standing straight up and can shoot fluid out of its head. Send a shiver up your spine and a shower down your pants. I don't know what we're talking about. Sleeve it to beaver. This prophylactic comes with a laugh track. You can wear it on your beaver cleaver. This is a great condom to use when you're hitching a ride on the side of the road and want to have sex with a complete stranger. Take those words to heart. Jean-Claude Clam Dam smells like the sea. A highly polluted sea, but still the sea. 
Po' boy condom. When the saints come marching in. It's got a taste of Creole, covered in Cajun spices, which makes it an extremely unpleasant experience for the woman. Has the texture of a fried oyster. Each box comes with some Mardi Gras beads. You can throw them around your dick. Yeah, I don't use condoms. I'm on the pill. But champ, you realize the pill is not effective for men. Oh, really? That's not what my palm reader said. What kind of pill does she give you? Just something she gives me. What's the pill called? Tic Tac. You just uh, swallow some Tic Tacs and hope for the best. No, you just tap it in your pee hole. Oh. So you put a Tic Tac up your penis? Mm-hmm. So at this moment, you have a number of Tic Tacs lodged up inside your penis? Well, as many as you can stand. Yeah, geez, I haven't urinated in two months. I always hear Tic Tacs when you're walking. Now that explains it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my Ding Dong's got good breath. <laughs> right, guys? Ow! Hey, in a bind, I've been known to use a Mylar comic book bag. That way, my pee pee stays in mint condition. Brick, I hope you're writing this stuff down, huh? So where are you gonna take her, Brick? Dinner? Hot tubbing? I thought maybe I'd take her to a soda machine, and then we'd listen to some AM radio. You know, nice place to take gals an off-track bedding parlor, then later, mosey out to a quarry. Maybe a sauna. The point is, Brick, just enjoy yourself, huh? Mr. Burgundy, I'm sorry, but your ex-wife is here. Ron, I need to talk to you right now. Hi, Mom. Brick, I am not your mother. I have told you that countless times. Okay. <clears throat> What's Gary doing? Ron, I'm just here to make sure things don't get out of hand. I have some experience in conflict mediation. Veronica. Hey. Hey, lady. 